My name is Christian von Königsegg. I'm 40 years old and for half of my life I've been on the quest to be a leader in the hypercar industry, utilizing Swedish design combined with visionary technical solutions. So this is the one-to-one, -one, getting ready to be shipped out to the Geneva Motor Show in about four or five hours. We've been pretty much working flat out day and night for the last couple of weeks to get to this point. So it's a great relief, even though we always kind of make it, it's always good to see that it's happening this time as well. So the one-to-one -one is uh, our most extreme, extreme car ever uh, created. It's one horsepower per kilo of weight and that's curb weight that's with fuel or liquids ready to run car on the street that's never been done before interestingly enough uh, 1360 horsepower which is the power level of the engine is also pretty much exactly one megawatt of power thereby we think this is actually the first mega car ever produced which is quite exciting so basically it's establishing a new category not only the most power per kilo or, or weight but also the most powerful production car ever built and it's one megawatt of power so that combination is just going to be fantastic on a track um, so it's very extreme when it comes to all the aerodynamic features for example, here is a good example. We have um, removed some of our luggage space and put in these air ducts going into the front bonnet. Uh, and we've covered up, up some other air outlets into the front subframe. Um, we have these huge uh, winglets and splitters, which also have active elements underneath uh, the front splitter that move around depending on, on uh, aerodynamic uh, downforce needs. We can't see it right now, but the shock absorbers are also active in ride height, individual left and right side, front and rear, but also rebound and uh, compression uh, settings are individual on each damper on each four corner. And this can act dynamically around the racetrack to reset itself while you're driving. And it's uh, all hooked up to, to, the, to a cloud over 3G, so our customers will be able to download data for different tracks and really have maximum performance in every given condition. So even though we added a lot of extreme functionalities, aerodynamic elements, um, made the car stiffer and stronger, uh, stronger engine internals and so on, it's still lighter. Basically we added about 30 kilos of weight in componentry and functionality but in total the car is around 80 kilos lighter. And even though this is the first development car and some of the components in the interior are uh, prototype and a little bit heavier than the production versions, we're almost hitting the 1360 target already with this car in this show condition. And the production car following this car is estimated to be 30 kilos lighter than this. So that will actually probably be lighter than 1360 kilos as it looks like. So that's really, really fantastic. Um, here you can also see the huge active rear wing uh, which is now set in full brake mode, flipped up. Um, so in that uh, position it's actually giving uh, the largest amount of downforce that it can with the largest amount of drag. So it's not only an aero brake, it's also giving maximum amount of downforce to the rear wheel simultaneously. And that was possible due to the unique shape of the wing that follows the contour of the car, but also is a, a double wing with two aerodynamic elements interacting, so the stall angle is higher than it otherwise would be. Um, we can also go around here and see the interior a little bit that's coming together. Uh, it's a striking uh, black Alcantara lightweight interior with orange elements matching the outside of the car. 
with new uh, clear carbon elements on the interior that, that we used to cover up before, but now we're leaving them bare naked to save weight and give a more racy look. So this car is really, when you take it to the track and, and you put it in the lowest setting, it's really a full-on GT1 car specification, apart from the fact that it has more than double the amount of horsepower. But when you go on the normal road, the car raises itself up, the suspension becomes softer, it even has uh, power windows, air conditioning, amplifiers, uh, six speakers, anything that you would find in our normal cars are still there even though we have this huge weight saving. Uh, when we come to the back of the car, we can see this uh, exhaust end piece, which looks similar to our uh, normal ones, but it says one-to-one -one titanium. And we have new air outlets underneath here uh, for greater gearbox cooling. And it's uh, one of the world's largest 3D printed titanium pieces ever made. Um, it's a Swedish company making a huge 3D printing machines that's made it for us. It's a, also a very local product. Uh, we're also uh, uh, printing our variable turbine housings for the turbos that we developed for the car to have a huge power range. Um, they are so complex in shape that they're difficult to cast and in our low volume it makes full sense to actually 3D print them even for production. So that's also very unique. And it, 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 it makes it possible for us to have over 1000 Newton meters of torque from under 3000 RPM to up to 7,800 RPM. So the, the power curve and the, 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 the range of available power over the registry of the RPM is just previously unmatched by any other car. Uh, so we're very happy about that. Here we can actually see the, uh, the active uh, suspension system. Here we have a, a hydraulic lifting system actuating on the springs on the rear. And then we have uh, electric controls over um, compression and rebound damping here. Uh, we're actually going to uh, put carbon fiber springs on the, on the production cars as well to even further save weight. And we will start testing that uh, when we are home from Geneva, from the Geneva Motor Show. So this car will actually, as soon as the Geneva Motor Show is over, we will start to use it for test driving and setting the car up. So far we've just dri driven around the shop with it. All dr dr driving with it previous before that has been uh, uh, virtual on the computers. <laughs> um, and it will also go to the Beijing Auto Show in April. And after that it will really start hitting uh, all the European racetracks in, in a serious way to, to get it well fully shaken down and tested before we start production um, of the customer cars.